All right, guys, y'all see this 100 mil cash tag? Well, I think it's time for me to start buying some blood runes. I think just AFKing some blood rune crafting can only help me so much right now. So 100 mil, I think it's time to use it. I, I don't really use it for anything right now. So you might be asking, where does one buy blood runes on an Iron Man? Uh, well, definitely not the GE, but there are stores that will sell blood runes. The stores usually come with a crazy drawback, especially for blood runes. A lot of them will extort the hell out of you. I'm going to show you two places right now that you shouldn't buy blood runes from if you ever decide to buy some for whatever reason. Oh my god, I buy my first 50 and this thing's... <laughs> Yo, what the hell, dude? This this is so extortion. This is extortion. Okay, look, I'll, I'll do you the favor. I'm going to go 50 more, all right? <laughs> oh my god. Every 50 at Baba Yaga raises the price by 200 GP. All right, here's the other uh, rune shop that you should not buy from, like ever, because extortionist prices. All right, I bought 50. 600! Oh, man, it's just as extortionist as Baba Yaga, man. I'll buy another 50, though. Oh, yep, it's just as bad. Oof. And yes, there are uh, two places that are decent, still expensive as hell. You're not going to get away with cheap blood runes on an Iron Man trying to buy it. So these two places are the Wizards Guild and the other one I will show you a bit later on. All right, so it looks like no one's buying blood runes right now, which is good. All right, 400 GP uh, for the first 50, 420, and what does it go? 440, okay, that's not too bad. 460? I'm just going to personally buy all 250 per store because at its max is only 500 GP, which is already way better than what you can get buying 50 runes in the other places. So this is as good as it gets. Because the wizard skill has the cheapest blood runes for the quantity that you can get, it is the most popular. So there are some other rich Ironmans out there that are, you know, hopping through these worlds. So I definitely can't rely on this one spot if I want to get a lot of buttons quickly. So there is another spot, and that is the Abyss NPC by Edgeville. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a not-so-secret spot in the freaking abyss area you know the zamrak mage she actually sells blood runes for a similar price yeah but it's gonna be annoying basically you just gotta watch out for the skeletons that uh, occasionally tag you but yeah apparently the stock prices are pretty similar uh yeah oh my god the moment i get to 200 it's already 550 shit <laughs> but whatever it's not bad. I can buy about like 200 blood runes per world before it gets a little bit on the pricier side. But otherwise, yeah, man, it's relatively empty. Just because, yeah, wilderness is kind of a, you know, a nice natural barrier for people wanting to do stuff like this. Anyways, uh, let's talk about my gear. It's pretty solid. The dens, of course, with Dehyde. Uh, it's only level 5 wilderness as well, so it would be really hard for me to actually get tied by PKR. I also have a Phoenix necklace on just in case PKRs try to claw me. I'm pretty much like unkillable with claw. And yeah, with skeletons tagging the PKRs, it'll be uh, pretty safe, yeah. What the hell? Oh wow, that's interesting. These like botters are coming from the northern direction south. Huh. Yeah, why? Why is that? Why are they doing that shit? So I've been seeing these bots or farmers really often uh, hopping around these worlds and they always come from the north. And I see them wearing games necklaces so more than likely they are teleporting from the corp entrance and running down south. But it doesn't really make sense because Glory's teleporting to Edgeville, the standard route, is way better for Abyss runecrafting. So I'm not exactly sure why they're doing that. What do you guys think? If you have any ideas, let me know because I'm really curious to find out. My boy Mary J was saying maybe it's like a way to you know, avoid their anti-cheat because maybe the anti-cheat knows that, you know, glory is the usual route and they're trying to deviate from it. Who knows? All right, I bought 20k blood burns. <laughs> 21k with 10 mil. That wasn't too bad. How much is this? Damn, G average 8.7 mil. That's insane. Blood burn prices have gone up so much. That even the store prices are almost close enough to 
the actual uh you know ge value that's crazy i spent 10 mil and i still got 8.7 mil uh ge worth of value that's crazy oh we got a pk -er. damn he got decked out bro damn but yeah he's level 79 though so unfortunately no action for me but I'm digging the wilderness shop a lot more than the wizard skill because I actually was able to cycle through all the worlds and like yeah encounter pretty much no competition it's great yo this is it 50 mil 50 freaking mil spent on blood runes guys holy shit how much did I get how much did I uh have now oh nice 108k bro so I am going to stop buying blood runes now because I think 100k blood runes a white stack is pretty good and it feels you know comforting to have this much. But I do have another 50 mil, so I will spend more if I have to in the future. All right, I want to show you guys something interesting here. So uh, I've been runecrafting, you know, since the nightmare boss came out. When I'm AFK and I'm chilling, and I gain 1.27 mil experience. As you can see. After returning to Iron Bar for Nightmare, I also, you know, looked at some of the pets I can go for outside of Slayer, and I feel like right now would be a good time to go and get the Hunlet pet from the Gauntlets, because I already have 500 plus KC there from the Salder Blade grind, and I looked at the drop rates for the pet, and it's actually not that rare, it's only 1 in 800. Me being close to the drop rates gave me quite a lot of motivation, and I, I don't know, I just feel excited to go for it at this point. So yeah, we're gonna do some daily Gauntlet, get back in shape for it. And hopefully you get this pet by the drop rate. Got it. Ah, oh, jeez. Three tries to get the kill, man. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Oh, what? I got a crystal armor C on my first completion back. It took me ages to complete the armor set. And I get one right as a comeback. Come on, bro. Look at how long I had to go. I, I pretty much second to last room. Are you kidding me? These last two rooms by the wall are bears. I can't, I can't believe that. <laughs> the la literally last two rooms were bears. Wow, that's as unlucky as it gets. That's literally as unlucky as it gets, but it's okay, I should be able to be fine. I'm not taking no risk, bro. Always better eat up. I've learned my lesson. Hey, I got a PB though, cool. Got a eight minutes, not bad. Oh, I found the five fishing spot. Holy shit, that's nuts. That's crazy. Y'all remember that uh, moss giant grind I did a while ago? Small grind to get the real fighter staff for the master coup stuff. Uh, yeah, but it's time to put it in the appropriate place, which is the stash unit. So I can save some bank space. If I ever need to do mass alking, uh, maybe to buy blood runes in the future, I'll probably, you know, take out the bad boy for it. Oh, what the f No way! Oh, oh my god, I'm already done. Oh, oh I really wanted to uh, practice my flicking, yo. Oh, into a god switch shot. Let's go. That's sick. Uh, do you really want to combine these items together into garden boots? Yes, cannot undo the process. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, so this is pretty cool piece of footwear. Um, I think my biggest use for this is going to be at DK's. Just because high range defense is really good for the spinal lips. Helps tank all of the attacks, even the magic ones. Because they roll based off your defense and range. So it's really good. Three strength bonus as well. Two prayer bonus as well. As opposed to the primordials, the primordials got the offensive stats. Uh, two stab, crush, slash, and two more strength bonus. So yeah, it's nice. We got ourselves another best in slot item. Small goal that I've been meaning to complete for a long time completed. So, so I brought my garden boots with me to Bandos to test it out. And I'm really digging that extra range defense because I'm actually tanking a lot more of the Bandos range hits. And that helps a lot because every time I take a lot of damage because of it, I mess up my rhythm because I'm, you know, still learning. And yeah, if I don't take damage, then I can keep my rhythm going with the flicking and stuff a lot better. So yeah, the boots is really nice while I'm learning. Oh, that was perfect. Almost. 
But yeah, that was that was clean, man. I got the feel for it now. Really, the hardest part is losing the momentum when the boss ranges you a bajillion times. That that freaking sucks. And yeah, I'm getting okay at uh, prayer flicking all the minions, but this world's super laggy too, which is what I'm really impressed about because literally. This world would freeze for like two seconds, and then I completely just don't even know what the animation's at. But yeah, I'm just kind of used to the, the ticks at this point, you know, to that extent. This very overdue goal is now complete, and yeah, I, I think I'm done with Bandos, honestly, on this account for pretty much ever. I, I have the pet, I have everything. Even that second Bandos boot, so... This practicing of the melee flicking is going to help a lot on Juan Man Ray whenever I get back to that because I still need to get Bandos Tacit. So that is a, another series I work on. Oh my god, I just two shot the second phase again. Holy shit, dude. I, want, I think that could have been a 72 72 if the boss had enough HP. Alright, I think I'm going to use up all my skills and just. Charge my uh, enhanced strat the whole way through. 12k charges. But yeah, that means I'm out of scale. So I got to plan out another uh, Zora session and just grab another 50k and be stocked for a while. So I'm going to do that soon. A hey, Armadale task. Sick. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Next task is Armadale. That means I get to practice uh, Tebow only Armadale. Those blowpipe heals come in clutch, you know, in the middle of the kill. Alright, I'm gonna teleport now. I'm not even gonna kill the minions. Screw that. Okay, so Cree Hour, I killed 30. Nice. That was cool. First trip back, we got 30 kills, so that's awesome. Ooh, that was sick, though. You saw that? I just uh, clicked on the Cree Hour and it froze everything, so feels good. Oh, wow, I just got another Armado Hill. Oh, what? That was the fastest massacre I've ever done. Alright, let's see. Let's have a look, boys. Noise. If you guys are looking for free-for-all nightmare team members for your nightmare, there is a clan chat called NM Space FFA, which is really good for finding teams. I've used them a bit recently. And yeah, I haven't had any trouble, you know, finding reliable team members. So definitely check it out if you need a former team for a nightmare. Hell yeah, Godsword came in clutch with that KO. All right, should be another sub 20. What do we got? 1843, hell yeah. And that is the 1200th kill. Oh, actually not at 400 yet. We're at 300 and... Uh, 64 solos. Yeah, we've still down a lot for sure. So I've done enough solos and groups combined to at least get four drops on average. We're still at one, but there's no way the second drop's gonna take like another 200 hours. So I believe we should be getting our second drop pretty soon. I I just hope so at least. <laughs> Let's open this up though. Let's see what we get. Wow, the classic dragon weapon starter kit. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.